Hello, this is Yuri with WP Soar, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can build your homepage using the Enfold theme. Now, if you've made it this far, you already have the theme installed and you have your child theme. Let's begin. So go to Pages and click on All Pages. Click on the home page and edit it. We already created this in the last lesson. Click on Advanced Layout Editor. And now we can start building the page. You're going to love this. Click on Color Section. And we're going to add a color section. Now generally, the new sort of design methodology in the web is to have a scrollable background with some sort of a call to action right on the front page. We don't necessarily want to have scrolling images or any of the uh, old stuff that was sort of in the past. Slideshows just don't convert and they don't really work. So let's set up our section background here. First, let's go navigate over to section background and insert an image. I'm going to go to the media library because we already have all these images uploaded and insert the image that you'd like. Now we're going to provide all of these details and all these files that you're going to need to build this exact same home page. So we want to also select the position to be bottom centered. And we don't want it to repeat. And we want it to be parallax. So those are the settings after we upload. Click on Save. And now we're going to go to Content Elements. We're going to put a special heading here. It starts with Hello. Now we're going to say, get rid of your WordPress. Yeah. Press problems. Let's add the ellipses. Now, because it's the first one, we're going to do H1. This is a heading one. You can learn more about headings in a, di in a different support video. And that's really all we need for this header. Well, we actually have to center it first. So let's center it here. There you go. We can change the sizes and configure it later. This is fine for now. Okay, let's go ahead and duplicate that. Okay. All right. Now we're also gonna add a subheading. We're gonna add a subheading below this. And it's gonna say 24 seven access to the best word, best word press support I cannot type today. Work with the best WordPress helpers. What are you going to do with your newfound spare time? Okay, click on save. There we go. Now we're gonna add a button. There it is. And it's gonna be an extra large button that's going to say sign up today. Since we don't have the rest of the pages built, I'm just going to leave it this, like this. We're going to leave the link blank for now. We're going to set the size to be extra large, and we don't want an icon. We want it to align center, everything else looks good. And it's going to be in the theme colors that we chose. Okay. Now we're going to add a separator. Go back to your layout elements, now select the one fourth layout. Generally, you want to add three to four key benefit statements right underneath your header. So these are key benefit statements. Keep in mind, they're not features of your product. These are benefits for your potential customers. Go back to content elements, and we're going to select animated numbers. Let's configure this first. So we're going to say 3,294. These are the number of, number of hours saved for clients like you. Okay. We don't want an icon just like that. Now, to make things a little faster, well, this separator needs to be right here. Now we're just gonna clone it four times. I'm gonna check the rest of the numbers. 24, seven, emergency, support, button, task. 13. 
And then we got one more to go. What does that say? 50 plus support videos available 24 7. We actually have a lot more than 50. We'll leave that for the sake of demonstration here. Okay, good to go. Let's go ahead and save this. First, uh, since it's published, we're going to update that. Generally, you don't want to publish until you're ready, uh, but we needed to publish that home page uh, in order to have it linked with the Enfold theme for the home page. So we had to publish it. So this is where we're at so far. All right, now we're going to go ahead and add another colored section below this, what we've created already. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And then we're going to grab an icon. Actually, first we need to grab a one third column. And we need to grab an icon. Now, let's, before we start cloning this icon three times, let's configure it first. This is going to be a thumbs up. It's going to be a standalone icon with an optional caption. The optional caption is going to read, focus on your business. I'm not going to have a link with it. And we're going to align it center. And that's it. Now we have an icon. Now let's re replicate it three times. For the sake of example, let's just use this one for the bugs. No more bugs. And then we have one more. It's going to be a calendar icon. It's right here. I change the text on it. It's going to say 24 7 support. Now we need to add an image. Go to media elements, select the image. Drag it right underneath all these icons, just like that. Select the image. In this case, it's going to be the flying bird. We're going to want it centered. Default styling. No hover effect. Just like that. And we're going to add another 1-1 one, one section, a full section. Right underneath the image. We're going to add... Actually, we're just going to copy this one here. Take this headline text straight to the bottom. And what we're going to say, soar above your competition. This is a second, this is a second uh, major category. We're going to put it as an H2 tag. We're going to write, Our developers will help you sort out any word class problem, no matter how complex, 24-7. Never worry about your website again. Save. Okay, we're going to go and clone this separator again. And we're going to add a three-fourth section. Right in here. And we're going to clone this, and now watch this cool trick. You can actually make the section smaller right here. Add a one-fourth section. Fit it right there. And we'll just co copy this one again. Let's try that again. There it is. Open up the special heading, and let's write. We'll also send you monthly recommendations about how you can improve your site. You can leave it as an H2. Make it a little bit bigger. Say 30 pixels, and we can remove the subheading. We don't need the subheading there. No subheading, just like that. Now we're going to grab a button. Another button. Just grab this guy. We already made it. Why make it again? Just copy it. And we're going to say, sign up today. We can always change the font size of the buttons if they don't fit right, or if they don't look right, or just change the size of the button completely. So grab a new colored section and go all the way down. Drop it in here. And add, uh, we're just going to clone this guy here so we don't have to go all the way up again. Grab this piece and put it in right there. Now make this one half. Indeed, it is a growing library. I'm going to make this one an H3 tag. Copy this. We want an image, so let's copy this image. And just grab either one of them. Drag it into the next box here. Delete the text. Take the image. Insert a new one. We're going to put this image of a video. Save. All right, now we're going to grab another colored section. In fact, we can just copy this one. 
We haven't actually added any differential colors in the sections yet, but we can do that later. Uh, we're going to grab another heading. This is going to be the same one as the title heading, so this one is right here. Add it into the color section. And we're going to say, here are some ways we can help you. Like that something here. And the ways are we can fix any number of, of small issues you request and improve your site in many different ways. Here, some examples. Save that. And now we add a, we're going to add a bunch of one-fourth sections. So let's just copy any section here. Copy this guy here. And we're going to just create a template. There's a one-fourth section. Now let's create a template. And these are going to be more icons. So we're going to grab one of these icons again. We could clone it, it doesn't matter. Grab it right in there, drop it right in there. These are already set up. So we're going to say, we're going to go back to this icon and say, remove bugs. Save it. And again, we don't have the custom icons here, so for the sake of example, let's just use a star. Alright. Now we're going to copy this once more. Bring it all the way to the bottom. Sorry, right underneath these guys, actually. So headline, heading, or is it how WP sort of works? And we say so here's how, how it works. Save that. We're going to copy an image. Drag this image all the way to the bottom. And we're going to put the image of how WP sort works. Just like that. That's a WP sort process. And I think this image can actually be bigger. So let's select it and make it full size here. Sometimes the images get a little skewed, so you make sure you want to select the full size image and let the actual columns do the sizing of the image. There it is. Now we get another separator. Now you may have to adjust the spacing and modify some colors and make it look how you want it to look, but you'll get the general idea. Now we're going to add a three-fourth column here. So just copy a one-third with an icon and we'll bring it over. All the way to the bottom here. It's still within the same colored section. Just make it a little bit bigger. And this is going to be a three-fourth column. Mix out of that. Again, we're going to take a headline. We're going to drop it right in here. And we're going to add a button after that, too. We're going to say, we offer monthly plan of unlimited tasks. Where you can check out our library for press support videos. We're going to change the size to 30 pixels. There it is. And we're going to make this H4 now. We don't need the subheading. So remove the subheading. Save. Let's clone this whole section. And we're going to drag that whole section to the bottom. Okay. That's going to go right there. All right. And we have one final section that we have to make. And that is that we stand behind our work. So now we're going to make a two-fifth section. I'm going to copy the one-fourth. 
And actually, first, I'm going to drag a new color section down. So we have somewhere to put it. Add a two fifth. Just going to copy the three fourth. Drag it in here. And we're going to make this into a two fifth section. instead. I'll just bring this image in there. There it is, a giant image. See it automatically resizes in the in the right column. And we're just gonna put this one. Copy it over. We need a three fifth section here. Let's make this twice as big by two clicks. We're going to add some, some text and another button. Move that. We're going to start. Understand how to work. Understand how to work. Just saying. This one doesn't need to stop hurting. I'm going to say. It'll be too sore. Here's a 30 day. 30 day money. Uh, 100% money back guarantee on our premium WordPress support. If you are not completely satisfied with our service and we are unable to complete your request, do not hesitate to contact us and get your money back. We're serious about that too. And we're going to add another button underneath that. There it is. Sign up today. Update that. And let's take a look at our homepage. Everything but the colored section should be looking just like the WP SOAR homepage. See, there's some configuration issues we need to take care of. The buttons look good. Some of the colors are off. The images are all there. And for the most part, everything is there. Ah, now you see how we have this sidebar here. We need to actually change the layout. We can just say no sidebar. We can display the footer and the title bar. We don't need a sidebar. And let's fix that colored section while we're at it. And the reason it's doing that is because it's actually compressing the image. So we need to do the full size image here. Let's do full size. Insert. And that should be about it. Let's update that. There we go. It's no longer grainy. So we gotta change some of the colors, but notice the parallax scroll is working. We have to modify some of the spacing, add some colors here, so it's not so bland. But for the most part, this is the home page that we have. And the final step in getting our home page created is let's add some colors to the colored sections. I click on the bottom one, we'll start from the bottom. Section background, we don't need a background, we just need a color. Add that as a color. Save. I'm going to make that same color right there. And let's preview the changes. And there we go. There's, so this image just needs to be larger. But again, as you can see, for the most part, our homepage is really coming along. Thank you so much for watching this video, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.